Hi, welcome to Stampy's Random Reviews and Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you what to do if some of the apps have gone missing off your SkyQ box. On this occasion, on my TV, I'm not getting the YouTube app. So I'm going to go down to the app section and I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. So if I scroll down on the left hand side here, all the way down to apps and click select. You can see here I get most of the apps, I get Netflix, I get this Excite, Sky Sports, but I don't have a YouTube app. Some of you may have a YouTube app and may not have a Netflix app. Whichever app is missing, I'm going to show you exactly how to get these apps to reappear on your SkyQ box. So just checking out the Sky actual website, it does tell you which apps you will actually be able to get. It does show YouTube on there, so I should definitely have a YouTube app on there, which I don't have. So there are two ways to do this fix. We don't want any monkeying about, so the first thing you should try and do is unplug the power for at least five or six minutes and turn it back on. And I've done this successfully lots of times and these apps have reappeared, but I do have a little secret way of doing it if that doesn't work for you as well. So under the apps menu you can actually go down to settings, so you can scroll down on your remote control. You can see it doesn't have YouTube there. Go down to settings there, and before you press select, which is the centre button, press on your remote control, zero, zero, one and then the select button. What that does is it takes you to a setup page which you can see now and if you go down to the bottom that says apps and then across there's actually a button in this little secret menu where you can refresh apps. So I'm going to refresh all the apps on this box by clicking the select button which is the middle button. My apps have been refreshed so we'll see what happens in just a minute. Okay so I've left that for a few minutes I'm just going to go back to the uh, apps section on here don't worry if this doesn't work by the way, I've actually got a third method, I'll show you something else. You can see here straight away under the app section I've now got uh, Spotify, I've got YouTube, I've got Red Bull TV, Vivo, all these things I didn't have before are all there. Now that's two ways of doing it, the first way was to turn the box off for five or six minutes and actually unpower the whole thing. The second one was to use the 001 trick, but there's another reason that you might not have apps on your SkyQ box, I'm going to show you those right now. As you can see I've booted the uh, YouTube app up there and everything's going to work once I've signed in. That's absolutely fine. So now I'm going to show you, this is a little uh, kind of little cheat that you might not know about if you've looked online. This is the problem you might be having if you can't find the apps working on your SkyQ box. So this is one final thing to check out for. So don't just tune out just yet. If you actually go down to the settings on your SkyQ box and hit the select button. If you go down to parental there, if you have any parental settings on, and you actually have a pin in, it may be causing you some problems with actually having these apps work. So if you go to manage parental settings and enter your pin, we always have a pin set up on ours, and you can go down to apps on the left hand side, it will actually tell you which ones you've got blocked. Now I think by default on ours, some of them were blocked. Now YouTube was blocked, Netflix was blocked at one point. So if any of the other methods haven't worked, go to your parental settings. For example, I'll show you what I mean. If I click this, block access to YouTube here, and I turn that to off, when I go back to the apps here, what you'll notice is it doesn't actually even show the app. So just to clarify that, you will need to set, if you set that to on, it will block actually YouTube. So you can go to all these things, but just go to the apps thing. Everything else I've turned off, so I'll have all the apps. Now you'll see here I've got block access to YouTube on. If I go home and go back to the apps setting which is here, you will notice now that YouTube doesn't appear. Now you'd probably think it would appear but you couldn't use it. But if you actually have the parental settings to on, it will actually block the entire app, the thumbnail and everything. So the way to get it back, this little secret way to get it back, is to just go down to settings and make sure under the parental settings that you are actually allowing YouTube to uh, to do this. Once again, we'll just go to parental, put in the pin, and you need to go down to apps and videos, and then you need to switch off anything that you do want to use as an app. So that was my example, I actually showed you how to block the access to YouTube, so I'm going to turn that off now. Click the home button again, go back to apps, and you'll see that YouTube now reappears. So there's three ways of doing it, you can either unplug this SkyQ box, 
leave it off for five or six minutes and try it that way. You can refresh the apps by hovering over the settings under the apps section, typing 001 and select, and then going to the setting that actually lets you refresh the apps. And the third and final way, the thing you need to check really is under parental settings that you haven't actually got parental settings blocking any of the apps that you could be able to use. So I hope this video has helped anybody out. I thank you very much for watching. I, I'm sure this video is going to be really popular so take a second just to click like or subscribe and leave me a comment. I really would appreciate that because it's awful when you can't get your, uh, your TV working and I really really hope this has helped you out. Um, take a look actually in the uh, card at the end of this video. It's a really good video here for actually what to do if your actual original Skybox is frozen as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.